welcome to Womack's wonderful world. I've got a very special story today about Charlie the dog. A very special dog. Written by Sue Pavey. Shall I begin? Charlie dog? Charlie dog? Where have you been? Well, where do you think he's been? He was very clean here and now he's full of mud. Hmm, we'll have to find out, won't we? Your paws are all muddy and your face isn't clean. Oh, look at them muddy paws and look at his muddy face. Sounds like he's been somewhere with a lot of mud. Have you been to the seaside and paddled in the sea? Well, I don't think so, because if he had a dog, he wouldn't have any muddling, would he? Because he's cleaning the water, isn't it? And he's got his mask on, so he would have been swimming underwater, wouldn't he? I don't think so. Or did you go to the park and climb a big tree? Wow! Must be very brave, Charlie. He looks very high up. I hope he doesn't fall down. Did you visit your friends or jump in a lake? No, I don't think so. He looks very clean there. But he got two very nice friends playing with his ball. I hope that lake wasn't too deep. Did you roll in some mud? Or eat a big chocolate cake. That's more like it, isn't it? Well, rolling in mud, you would get muddy poles, wouldn't you? And of course, eating a chocolate cake, you'd look like you'd rolled in mud, wouldn't you? It's all over his mouth. We'll have to find out, won't we? Did you go and explore in a big dark cave? <sighs> that looks frightening, doesn't it? That cave, and got a torch round his head so we can see where he's going. And he's got a magnifying for the map. Mm, I wonder where that is. Norway? Sweden? That's a long way away, isn't it? I don't think so. <clears throat> or run through a tunnel and act very brave. Well, he's not very brave here. He's hiding behind a bunch of flowers. I wonder if he's frightened or something. Maybe that bumblebee. <laughs> Did you visit the farm? Or play with a pup. Well, that's a good farm, isn't it? It's got a pig, it's got a cow, a horse, and a hen. And that pup looks like Charlie's twin. A very small twin. <sighs> Would have had a good time though, wouldn't he? No, you've been in my garden and dug it all up. That looks more like it because look at all that mud. That looks like proper mud on your paws and on your face. And that's the story written by Sue Pavey about that lovely little dog and his adventures. Well, I'm going to have to go now because I'm going to be reading you another story next week from Womack's Wonderful World. Bye bye for now. Bye bye. <laughs>